بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے از دی لیکچر نمبر ایٹ آف بزنس کمیونیکیشن بی بی اے سیمسٹر فور ٹوڈے دی ٹاپک از بینگ ڈسکسڈ ایز کمپیئر اینڈ کنٹراسٹ ویریس فارم آف بزنس کورسپونڈینس ان وچ اے ڈفرینٹ کائنڈ آف دی بزنس کورسپونڈینس فراڈ بینگ انڈر ڈسکشن ہیئر پازیٹیو اینڈ نگیٹیو میسج انفارمیٹیو اینڈ پرسویسو میسج تو فسٹ آف آل وی شوڈ نو واٹ کائنڈ آف دی واٹ کائنڈ آف دی کورسپونڈینس کین آلسو بی اکر فار دی پروسیس اکمپلشمنٹ آف دی پروسیس آف دی بزنس کمیونیکیشن تو دیر آر فائیو کائنڈ آف دی کورسپونڈینس وچ آر آلسو یوزلی usually used in a business communication internal correspondence external correspondence sales correspondence and personalized correspondence and also a circular so now the internal correspondence is a written communication between the employees department and branches of the same organization it can either be formal and informal it may letter promotion a <coughs> notice to explain and also and also a an a memo form memo request for the approval and also or the dismissal letter so these are this is a kind of the communication which is also occur inside the inside the organization and a business business <coughs> parties so, so number 2 is the external correspondence at it is obvious external uh, correspondence takes place uh, between different organization and their individual clients the, it is the outside uh, communications which is also which is also happen with the other companies other organization from one organization to an other organization so, so <clears throat> it is the a written communication made by company to those who do not belong to their organization it is commonly made to made to vendors creditors suppliers existing customers financial institutions government offices law and accounting firms sponsors and donors so its chief object is to increase their business activities so definitely it is uh, a external kind of the communication which is also uh, doing between different organization so, so in such kind of the activities which are considered very important in this connection the its chief object is to uh, maintain the um, mutual understanding and the goodwill and now number 3 is the sale correspondence the so, sale cor- correspondence refers to sale related communication so it is not limited to just selling a product or services but it also includes other activities relating to sales so it includes marketing letters offer letters and discount letters sales report and proposal invoices and purchase order so, so now the next one is the personalized correspondence <coughs> <coughs> personalized correspondence involves personal and emotional factors despite being labeled as personalized <coughs> this kind of the communication can also be used for business purposes such as letter of gratitude letter of favor letter of congratulation and so on so this particular type of the correspondence do not yet does not need to have a very formal tone So, so the last one is that the circular correspondence so these are notices that are communicated to a large number of people within an organization so it is also reflected or yeah, referred to as offices uh, offices institutions and accountants or announcements for meeting and intimation for different kind of the object so generally a circular correspondence mean all kind of the information all kind of the notices which are commonly uh, shared 
with the common people they are directly related to this organization or not indirectly related to this organization so definitely especially these are particularly for those people they are directly related to the uh, relate, related to the <coughs> organize, organization so so now the good messages or the positive messages are message that will receive favorable response or neutral reaction from your reader is called a good message <coughs> such messages tell something positive and pleasant these messages are generally organized by the direct approach also known as good message so i i think now the such kind of the request responses provides opportunity to establish good will a positive message always should end on a positive and courteous close besides this the writer must sum up the statement of action he desires the so now the bad messages a bad messages are a negative message the a message that fails to come up to the hopes of the readers are generally known as negative messages so such as refusing an information denying cooperation rejecting job application in which now the negative response shows necessary is shows by the readers and also by the respective company so it means that such kind of the matches which is totally against the hopes and not fulfill the requirement of the expectation is called a uh, bad messages so so now the informative message informative message is a response message the purpose of this message is to let readers understand the message de emphasize any negative element and view the information positive because any message which also give you information in this respective way and also you can seek a specific ya required information is called a informative message which is totally based on the information to so a new kind of the information which directly related to your business organization your business activities is also called a informative message to so the last one is that the persuasive message <coughs> a persuasive message consists of the uh, <coughs> intrigues informations convincing calls to action so such kinds of the messages are often discussed in term of reasons versus emotion so there are three parts of this kind of the message persuasive message number 1 a persuasive message message need to be brief and polite so number 2 state your main point in the first couple of sentences and number 3 emphasize importance of your request so so these are the important strategies uh, which are also required to having a, a business communication and also uh, are generally known as the business cor- correspondence so definitely a negative and the positive uh, positive messages play a very vital role in this correction because a positive uh, message always consider a hope for the enhancement of the business activities but also uh, another one as well as another one and other one important point that also increases the uh, mutual confidence between the clients and also a uh, clients as well as the uh, organization so so uh, this can also become a source of the enhancement of the business activities and also mutual understanding um, between uh, between two parties so so as where as the negative message is totally is totally against the situation and is not a hopeful element for the uh, fulfillment of the uh, in, uh, internal desires uh, which is directly relevant to the business activities because it is not a, a good message for the enhancements of the business activities because it it can also be considered a very uh, very alarming uh, considered a very alarming condition because it gives a bad bad impression and also mm, give a, a threatening threatening point alarming alarming conditions uh, about the organization because it also give the opportunity to make the uh, positivity 
in this direction instead of the uh, negativity to recover all the uh, negative aspect of such kind of the correspondence so uh, informative to so far as compare uh, compare and contrast of the positive and the negative message positive message always become a source of the encouragement for the uh, business organization whereas uh, it also give the positive a positive mode of the discussion and also and become the reason of the enhancement of the mutual understanding between the between the organization and between the two parties so as uh, compare as negative message is concern it is also it is not only give the opportunity to recover the situation but also uh, it give the public uh, it also gives the public opinions uh, about uh, such kind of the situation which is not going in favor of the uh, business organization because positive messages always give a positive support and negative messages always uh, provides them a uh, opportunity to recover the situation as well as uh, well awareness about the uh, about the about their uh, message which is also prevailing uh, to the public related so, so informative and persuasive messages are also two important kind of the correspondence because a uh, informative message always give a, a, a hope and uh, helpful in the helpful in the business activities so was persuasive message not only give the negative negative aspect but also it gives a positive aspect of the communication and the correspondence because if one is also a convey a important kind of the information or the second one is also alarms the upcoming situation the so it provides an opportunity to recover the situation the so such kind of the uh, positive message and also informative message as well as negative message and persuasive message uh, as a whole as a whole uh, become the source of the enhancement of the business activities and also a mutual understanding between the organization so 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 far as concern of the effects of these messages always uh, proves as a positive way and can be considered as the uh, good one for the benefits of the uh, business activities which is always going in favor of the business organization so so if one is also playing a positive role the second one is not playing a negative negative role but as well as it's also uh, given the opportunity to once again recover the situation so so uh, correspondence plays a very vital role in for the enhancement and and also for the uh, decreasement of the business activities because definitely now the positive activities as well as the negative activities are the part of the such kind of the business so there is a need to recover in a form of the negative in a form of the negative situation and also so there is a need of to create a yeah, enhance the mutual understanding and for the encouragement uh, of the uh, encouragement of the relevant authorities uh, so, so in a way negative and the positive a correspondence give equal opportunity to enhancement of the business activities as well as to uh, alarm according to the situation thank you